I work for Turkey Red Media, which is a multidisciplinary digital media company based in Dumbarton. It was formed in 2016 and I just joined last year in July 2021. One of the main things that we do at the moment is time lapse videos. So we do a lot of construction time lapse where we go to construction sites. We set up around three or four time lapse cameras and we go back every month and we edit them into a short video. At the same time as doing this, we also do drone flights. So Drone flying is one of the main things that the company does as well. People want drone images for lots of different reasons. For example, with the construction time-lapse videos, it gives a really good overview of what's actually happened within the month. If it's like a drone flight flying over the loch or in the national park or something, it's a really good way to get different images that you wouldn't really get from the ground. And for other reasons as well, such as roof surveys, stuff like that, really practical reasons. So drone flying is one of the more exciting and unusual parts of our, our daily job as well. We do weekly church videos for some of the local churches. We also, at the moment, we're doing a project with Western Bartonshire Schools. So it's a really varied amount of work that we do with the company and every day is quite different. My role within Turkey Red Media is to be a video editor. When I started at the company, I was kind of a production assistant. I would go out every week and I would help with the filming and recording of whatever we were doing that week. I would help set up the camera with the lighting and the audio and I would even be helping with location spotting and stuff. Whereas now I would say I'm more primarily a video editor. So my co-workers will go out during the week and they'll go to the different sites. When they bring back the footage, I'm responsible for putting it on the system, making sure everything's backed up. Then it's me that does the edit. What I enjoy most about my role is just the creative freedom of being able to decide what looks best. It's a really like motivating feeling when your vision comes through and the client agrees that it looks good because then everybody's happy and we've got a really good video to show. Another favourite part of the role for me is just being able to meet and talk to loads of different people from lots of different lines of work. It's interesting to be able to see what they do in their daily jobs. And lastly, I'd say the complete contrast of work that we do. On Monday, I'll be filming and editing a construction video to something that's really free and like creative. For example, when we're working on COP26, it would be videos of the water and the landscapes. Both projects are really important in their own right, but they're just so different. You don't know what you're going to be working on next week, so it's always quite exciting. So I went to Glasgow Caledonian University after school school, I chose the course Media and Communication because I thought it was something that I would enjoy. In my last years of school, I took up photography as a hire and I really enjoyed doing that and I've always kind of liked the more creative subjects. I'd say the course was really split down the middle with practical work and theory. So a lot of the theory work that we've done would be kind of analysing films and about social media strategies and then the other half of the course would be practical learning. It was fun to me and it didn't feel boring at any point so I'm glad that I've done that course but at the same time I wasn't sure exactly where I would like to go after it. Quite a few people that were on the course with me knew from the start that they wanted to be a sports radio presenter for example whereas I was kind of there to just see what my options were and see what I enjoyed most. I graduated uni in 2020 which was obviously during lockdown and because of this I think it was like a special hard to get a job. At that time I was just working in customer service roles. Working in customer service you do gain skills that you're going to use for the rest of your life in loads of different roles. The job that I'm in just now is actually part of a kickstart scheme from the government so it was kind of helping young people get experience and get jobs in sectors that they maybe found unreachable before. It was through the job centre and through my work coach that they said this is a really good role for you, you should go for it. I'm really enjoying this job because I'm learning stuff that I didn't learn at uni and I wouldn't have learned unless I was in this professional environment. My advice for a young person who'd be interested in a role like this is you really need to be adaptable with the work that you're doing but also with the people that you meet. Also you need to be enthusiastic because if you turn up to a site and you don't really seem like you're interested that's really not a good look and you want to look as if you're enjoying yourself. I think another thing is being open-minded because there's going to be some days where you're working on stuff that maybe isn't that exciting. Although in the moment it's maybe not the most fun thing to do, it's so important. So you need to remain open-minded about all the projects you're working on, even if you've not got the job yet. You'll find ways to get into it. For example, you'll make your own videos or 
you'll start your own podcast, something like that. We've received quite a lot of training. One of the main things is health and safety training, you know, working at height and just really being aware of your surroundings. When I first started, one of the main things I was being trained on was editing. What I learned at uni was a system called Avid, but we don't really use that here. That's more for kind of big industry production. It's not what we need to use. I was trained by one of my colleagues and I also use online training. I've been editing now for about six months for the company and I feel quite confident in it. I do feel like I've learned a lot in that time. We've also been trained in drone flights as well. So even though I personally wouldn't be out flying the drone myself, I'll need to be there to help my colleagues when they are. Knowing how to fly the drones is really useful knowledge because when my co-workers go out to film and they bring back the footage to me, I'm able to understand why they took the shots that they did and I'm able to perhaps ask the next time they go, could you get a shot from this angle? I think some of the things that make our workplace quite unique is everyone in the office is, is quite a different mix of ages and kind of backgrounds. So I think it is quite a good mixture of people that makes our company quite different. Even our office building is really quite unique in a different place to work. We're based in Strathleven House. It's a really nice building to be working in every day. There's such a wide range of people who also work here. There's an architect, a chiropractor, there's even a gunsmith upstairs, which is really strange. It's such an interesting mix of people and everyone's really lovely to work with. So I really like the kind of community sense of working in this building. It's really nice and the surroundings are so lovely. It's really different to what you would get if you were working in the middle of town or something. It's got quite a countryside feel to it, I think. So I really like working in this office and it's something that we don't take for granted. We're often outside filming stuff outside, just making the most of the building because I think that's quite important, it's, it's a really nice place to be in.